Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today, we're going to make some epic steak sandwiches. And it's going to be mighty fine, I tell you. It's going to be a little different from uh, any other steak sandwich you've ever seen. Right here is two New York strip steaks. And that right there is the price, the weight, 0.82 pounds. Now let's get started. I'm going to be cooking these steaks whole, and we're going to pound them out, but see this fat right here on the sides? I do not need that, and I do not want it, so I'm going to go ahead and get all that trimmed off. We got that fat trimmed off, and you see that's pretty much this hard fat that we don't need, and uh, it's going to do us no good. Took a piece of saran wrap and covered the meat, and I'm going to take one of these meat hammers right here, and we're going to pound this out thin. We probably want to pound it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. So just keep on working it. Pound the heck out of her. Not too hard though. You don't want to hurt her too bad. We got to pound it out about a quarter inch thick or so. I'm going to take this side right here and just beat them a little bit. Just get a little indentions in them flip it over same old thing got them the way i like them you see they're about a quarter inch maybe a little bit bigger this one's a little bit thinner so i just got me a dish there that my meat will fit in and this is going to be pretty easy we're just using store-bought ingredients that everybody can get and i'm using this kc masterpiece 30 minute classic steakhouse marinade and i'm just going to dump a little bit in there like that probably about a quarter uh, probably about half a bottle or so don't really matter it's going to flip get it coated in there real good oh yeah grab our other old steak over here get him in there get him marinated and coated real good now that looks good guys. Now I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and I'm going to let it marinate for about 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Now I have one sweet Vidalia onion that I'm going to go ahead and slice up. Now our onions are all sliced up. We're moving over to the stove. I have a 10 inch skillet with a couple tablespoons of butter. And I have this over low heat. Go ahead and add all the onions in. All the onions. Now let's add a. <clears throat> now let's add a couple small pinches of salt. And also, don't forget the cracked black pepper. Cracked black pepper. There we go. That's looking good. We're gonna add a stir, and we're just gonna let them slowly cook over low heat. Behind the scenes. Right here is the studio, y'all. Now we're going vlog style. Wonder if I can cook without getting my white hat and my white shirt dirty. Man, we got some jalapenos over there. Probably done seen them. But anyways, guys, this right here is really going to be so simple and one of the best steak sandwiches you ever ate, I guarantee you. But anyways, guys, hit that subscribe button. I don't know, hit the subscribe button guys, it's, just, it's gonna be mighty fine. Make sure we get that in a shot. Now I got four jalapenos that I'm gonna be adding in there. You know, you could also put some mushrooms or something like that in there if you wanted to, but I'm just going with jalapenos. And I'm just gonna slice them up like this. It's okay if I have some of the seeds in it. Ain't gonna bother me none. But I will take some of them out. I'll slice the other two the same way. I don't even know if y'all can see that. There we go. I only done three of the jalapenos. You know, you can do as many as you like. Alright, the onions have been cooking along. They've just been cooking over low heat for probably about 10-15 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and dump in the jalapenos. And get them mixed up, and I'm just going to let that cook until I think it's done, until the jalapenos get nice and soft. So 
we'll let it cook for another probably five, ten more minutes. Okay. Do y'all see what I'm seeing? The onions are getting a little bit caramelized. Uh, peppers are pretty much soft. Now right here is the next step that is going to make it just amazing and mighty fine. This is old cheap Heinz barbecue Kentucky bourbon. Go ahead and pour you in a good amount of that right there. Maybe a quarter cup. You be the judge of it. We'll stir it around and we're just going to let that all simmer together and let that kind of get a little bit thick and that's going to be a magic magic topping to put on these steaks and man it's going to be mighty fine guys again it's just so simple but it's going to have so much amazing flavor you could put this in there too the same thing that you marinated the steak with but this right here is just going to add another dimension of flavor that's just going to make it pop and it's just going to be mighty fine so we're just going to let that simmer until it gets nice and thick. So now I have this beautiful white sub roll that I am going to broil. And I actually bought these at Ingles in the actual uh, deli where they make uh, cold cut sandwiches and stuff. So this is a nice soft sub roll. And I had went ahead and split it. And I'm going to open it up like that. And I got my broiler sit on low so i'm going to let this top get nice and toasty for a few minutes so once it gets toasty i like to add a little bit of garlic butter on it so all this is is a half of a stick of real butter and we're just going to add in a little bit of garlic powder on top of that maybe a teaspoon or so tablespoon whatever you like and i'm going to nuke that in the microwave until it melts and our steak has marinated for probably about 30 45 minutes and we're going to go ahead and call that done and you could also let that go longer if you'd like. You could let it go for a couple hours or however long you like. It's up to you. I just laid a couple layers of uh, paper towels down and just trying to drain off some of the excess marinade because we don't want too much on it. All right, because uh, it'll just steam in the pan if you have too much marinade on it. So we're just going to try to wipe as much marinade off as we can. Just kind of pressing it down like that. And then we'll probably turn it over and do the same thing. Got them dried off pretty good. And we're just going to go ahead and add a, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to each side. You know, we're going to use the good old crack black. Crack black pepper, baby. And I will repeat on the other side. All right, we got our cast iron skillet. And this is a 12 inch skillet and I've got it heating over about medium heat. Woo! Hear that sizzle? We're gonna let it go for about two minutes and then flip it. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let's see if we got anything going on. Uh, pretty good little sear. Oh yeah, looking nice. Now we're going to let it go for two more minutes. Two more minutes has lapsed. And looking nice. Looking mighty fine, I tell you. Now let's go ahead and pull these bad boys off. So I'm going to let these sit here and rest. And I'm going to kind of cover them up a little bit until I get ready for everything else. And right here is our onion mixture. I've just been letting it slowly, slowly cook. And you see how thick it's got, and it's just so much flavor right there in that, I tell you. Man. So our little bread here is toasted up a little bit, and I've got some garlic butter. I almost burn it, but it's still good. I'm going to just baste the bread with some garlic butter. All right, we're pretty much ready to build this sandwich, and I'm going to use... Uh, Spread a thin layer of Duke's mayonnaise down on both sides. This is optional, but the Duke's mayonnaise, or mayonnaise in general, is going to just give it a nice, nice, little creamy, just nice texture to it. Just make it taste good, honestly. I'll throw you a... 
See how crispy that bread is when I spread that mayonnaise on there? You don't need much mayonnaise, you just want a light, light coating of it. Alright. Now I have a provolone cheese, and we're just going to start layering, laying some nice layers of provolone cheese. And this is going to be a big old, big old sandwich, y'all. This right here is the Poto Steak Sandwich, and by golly, it's mighty fine. Alright, let me get some more on. Now this is going to go under the broiler just until the cheese gets nice and melted. So our steaks are done resting, and we're going to go ahead and cut them. You already feel they're tender. They might not be, you know, they might be a little bit well cooked. Still some pink in the middle, you can't tell. They're more probably about a medium well or so. But we're going to try to cut it against the grain. Just cut nice strips like that. We'll just cut it all up until it's all cut up. <laughs> You see there's still a little bit of pink in there, but it's still going to be nice, flavorful, and tender where we marinate it. Let me try this piece out. Oh. Mmm. Here's the juice that we had from resting the meat. Let's go ahead and just throw that in there. We'll just kind of give it a mix around just to get all them juices back on that meat before we put it on the sandwich. Are you ready for the cheesy bread? Voila! Look at there. Man! Try to back you up. And this is how we assemble the Poto steak sandwich. Get our onion, little onion jalapeno barbecue mixture. Which I cook this a lot for just a lot of different things. For steaks, put it on burgers, whatever. Always, always doing that. Which is just onions and jalapeno, or onions and barbecue sauce. Normally that's all I put in it. Today I decided to do jalapenos. And get every bit of that on there. Hope the lighting's good. And then we're just going to start layering the meat on that bad boy. Get it all over there. Try to get her stripped straight there. And there you have it. That is Poto's signature cheese steak sandwich. And it's not no Philly cheese steak. This is the Poto's signature cheese steak sandwich from Tennessee. Look at there. Now let's cut that bad boy. Here it is, y'all. Let's try this cheese steak sandwich out and see if it's mighty fine or not. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mm -mm. That sure is mighty fine, I tell you. And the flavor is such an explosion in your mouth. Has a little bit of kick from the jalapeno, so if you don't like it a little too spicy, you might want to tone that down. But man, Hope I didn't get a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Cheers. I don't have a drink, but cheers.